We are now in the city of Pahang, which is four hours away from Kuala Lumpur. We travelled literally from 10 p.m. from Kuala Lumpur to Pahang. We had dad driving one car, Jibish driving another, and we had two backup drivers, which were Ron and Aisha. Made a stop at one of the hotels that we were supposed to stay in. It wasn't in the best condition. We ended up driving 20, 30 minutes away to another Airbnb last minute. At this point, it was like four o'clock in the morning. I was slumped out. Checked in, all went to sleep at like six, six day. And checkout was at one. Currently three o'clock now. We don't even know what we're doing today. What are we doing today? So this is the city of Pahang. As you guys can see. We're on such a high floor and it's actually hot today. Let's get the day started. Hey guys, it is day five. Five or six. I have lost count. Literally. <laughs> it is actually raining um, where we are in Pahang. We're going to another place which is about two and a half hours away. So we're just about to go get some breakfast because everyone decided to wake up. Well, to be and fair. Even breakfast is five o'clock. It's basically breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in one. So so we're still here in Pahang. It's five o'clock. Um, everything here is last minute. I think Jerisa's getting a bit like annoyed. The itinerary that we were supposed to follow isn't going to plan. I think we're going to take matters into our own hands now and just deal with things ourselves. I think at this point we were supposed to be on Redang Island. Not much update, really. Curry. 
It's been a long drive. We cut it down by 40 minutes though. Yeah, we got speeding. I was about to say by racing, not speeding. <laughs> oh, Geronimo. Geronimo. Chocolate roll for the road. <laughs> Trying to keep awake. So one thing with Malaysia, you have to obviously tolls are a main thing. And you have to pay with, and it's only cards. cash that they take. And when you run out of cash, it's just you have a top up card and you have to top up. But I just got cash, lucky. How much, how much is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just topped up. They've pulled up over there. Listen, we have an hour left. You're half good. asleep. Get an hour sleep. But Aisha's half asleep. Okay. Aisha's good, man. Aisha does this all the time. I can see you right now. Look at me. Swapping drivers. And I'm scared to lead. You scared to lead? Yeah, it's a bit old, this one. Get your hour seat before they wake up on the flight as well. Do we need to? Yeah, the next service station is not too far. This is the thing. It's a good thing we have four drivers. But we did do like an all nighter basically. I haven't slept, but I think Javis needs to sleep more because he's been driving. My dad's driving now in this car. I just come to this car and he can get his hour sleep. What's the time now? 7.55. <laughs> Finally, finally made it to Kuala Lumpur. It's what, 8.41? 8.41, yeah, we're going to get there. Minutes. 45 minutes, we're doing so well, aren't we? Honestly, no sleep, guys. No, no sleep. sleep. But it's alright, she can sleep on the flight. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep. Like, Javis is sleeping in the car. That's my dad in front. Um, So Javis is obviously having his little nap, which I hope he is. I can imagine him snoring away anyway. Yeah. I know I'm not going to sleep because... One's awake already. Cairo will definitely is definitely gonna wake up by the time we get on the flight. And obviously, I've had to try keep Jarius up as well for the past four, five hours of the journey. I am tired, but <laughs> this holiday ain't going to waste. It's alright. We're so, making sure, guys. We're making we're sure. Being spontaneous. Look, look how beautiful the skyline is. Don't know if you can see, but there's the Petronas Towers there. Hi. So, I am a zombie, but we've made it to the airport. Maleko's up, so he's just hyper. Cairo's still sleeping, so we have about half an hour till the flight. Tired. I only had about 15 minutes sleep towards the end. Mister. He's got energy. They were a bit funny because I am obviously 25 weeks pregnant though I had to sign a consent form and stuff because I didn't have a doctor's note. We still need to book an Airbnb. <sighs> Let's get on this flight and head to Phuket and hopefully there's no showers and the weather is okay because I see it's a bit it's raining a little bit. But we'll have to see. Made it on the plane. Made it, I can't believe it again. Our spontaneous waves of travelling. It's only an hour and a half flight. We are ready to board. Malayka looks a bit sleepy. I'm sleepy. I think he's not feeling too good. Yuki, dad there. So what a long journey it's been. Literally, we came from Kuala Terengganu all the way to Kuala Lumpur. Five hour drive, literally like one or two stops because we had to switch drivers. And then we made it to Kuala Lumpur. We arrived at 10.30, only one hour and a half to check in. Made it to the flight at 12, an hour and a half flight, and we are now here in... Welcome to Phuket. <laughs> we made it to Thailand. This was literally our idea, just an idea. Made, made the plan, sat down at the table. Actually, we spoke about it at <laughs> Packed up at Airbnb at two o'clock in the morning and just left. Set off, we set off at four. I drove for five hours. She's had no sleep, probably an hour on the plane. Not even that, I didn't sleep. I've had 15 minutes plus an hour and a half on that plane. 
So we went up and then right down. As soon as I woke up, we were, we were here in Thailand. Lucky the kids were still sleeping. Yokari fell back asleep. Malika fell back asleep. So now we have booked just our Airbnb and we're waiting for our cab. 28 pounds to get half an hour to our, um, to our Airbnb villa. And there's nine of us. So I think it's a big seat seat. Um, it's 28 pounds for all of us. So let's go see our Airbnb and let's see how see these soon, two guys. how these two days in Thailand Phuket will be. Imagine.